Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Apostle Peter Daniel. Uh, I want to speak with you. This is Heaven and Hell Live program, which uh, we used to do every time. Uh, I want to speak to you today the message of the Lord for those who are ready to make heaven, not just for ordinary mere Christians, so called church goers, so called GO children, so called people who are lovers of their pastors and not lovers of the word of God. I am not speaking to this, the, this kind of people, but I am speaking to people who are heavenly minded. People who want to make heaven. People who want to be rapturable. These are the people who God is sending me to this time. I want to speak to you that it is time. It is appropriate time to flee for your life. The Lord spoke to me and he said to me that son, tell my people that the time has come. The time for them to leave. The time for them to prepare. The time for them to run for their life. If your pastor is preaching heresy, run away. Let me tell you something. There's no amount of preaching a pastor can preach. There's no amount of inspiration messages a pastor can preach. That is of, it's like a, the holiness messages. Any pastor, I repeat, any pastor, I repeat, any pastor that is not preaching a holiness message, any minister that is not preaching a holiness message, any man of God that is so-called a man of God, whether they are pastors, whether they are bishop, whether they are prophet, whether they are evangelist, whether they are an apostle, whatsoever call they my have, I am speaking to you right now. If you are a pastor, or if you are a member of a pastor that is speaking messages, that is not leading you to heaven. It's not the time for you to start saying that I want to start, a, uh, yeah, I want to be doing something that is not relevant to heaven. It is time for you to prepare. Leave that source now. Pull out of that source. It is not compulsory for you to be in that touch. Any touch that is promoting worldliness, promoting rendering, promoting you to wear trousers. No matter the kind of anointing, it is not about miracle. God is not going to judge you by miracle, but is going to judge you by who you follow, by the doctrine you follow, by your preparations. If you are here today, you are hearing me, and you are seeing that touch, you are, you are going to hell without your pastor. And if you're a pastor, you are not living the only life. You are not preaching the only life. You are not preaching people, telling people to make heaven. You are going to hell. Mark my word. Mark my word. It is a word from God. God is telling me now that as you want you, pull out of that church. If your church is not promoting heaven, pull out. If your church is not preaching holiness, pull out. If your church is not living a rightful life, pull out. If your pastor is preaching heresy, leave. Leave. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I'm born in that church. My father and my mother is going in that church. And that is where I grew up. That is not the issue. Heaven, you are talking about heaven here. If Jesus come and meet you in that church, do you know that the kind of life your pastor is living can affect your life? If your pastor is living a faithful life, you will just see yourself living also a faithful life. It is time. It is time that the people need to understand the truth. Because that pastor is so his mouth is sugar, is, he has a sugar-coated mouth. Praising to you a miracle are happening. Praying and demons are living. That does not mean that God is with him. That you pray in that thought and your prayer answer. That does not mean that you are going to heaven. Let me tell you something. One day the Lord Jesus Christ told me something. He said, do you know that it is not the only prayers of a Christian that are here? Tell my people that because I hear their prayer does not mean that they are coming to, to heaven. 
I also hear the prayer of a demon. I hear the prayer of the evil one. I hear the prayer of sinners. That somebody is praying and, and praying and God is answering him and you believe that God is with him, that does not mean so. I'm telling you, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. The mouth of God that was there. The demon inside him was legion. There are thousands of demons inside a man. And Jesus was about to cast them to the pit of hell. Where Jesus had been casting his, the other, other demons into hell. He wanted to cast him to hell. And the demon pleaded and said, Please, don't take us and cast all to hell. But please, we would like to enter the peak. Do you know Jesus answered our prayers? And the demon leave the man and enter the peaks. The peak that the man have, 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 have suffered to buy. Hundreds of peaks ran into the water and they perished. Just because Jesus answered a prayer of a demon. So that you are praying and God answered you. Don't deceive yourself. That your pastor is telling you is seeing visions does not make it from, it's from God. There are many false prophets outside here. There are many false pastors preaching the Bible, but they will trace it when they get to some heaviness. Do you know what God told me about the people of uh, the people right now, the pastors of nowadays? The Lord said they are not even they are not coming in the form of, of goat anymore. They are not coming, they are not coming in the form of sheep. They will deceive people with their patience. They will deceive servants, they will deceive even the servants of God with their presence. That you yourself, you will, you will be there killing yourself over them. And God will be there crying over you because you are you are defending the first person. Do you know what is, is bound down in a secret place? Because, because it's calling Jesus, Jesus. Is it everyone that called Jesus that is going to make it home? Do you think it is every pastor that called Jesus that God recognized? No! No! Any pastor that thought you are going to, you are there, you are saying one day they will sing. Who are you to say only they will sing? It is not the time for you to say that they will sing one day. It is time for you to pull out. Pull out. Leave that torch. The pastor that is preaching money always. He will be raising money. We will have 10 million. I want to pray for you. 10 million. And you are there. I'm not saying it's not good for you to give to God. I'm not saying that. But any pastor preaching money. Is a devilish pastor. You have to be saved. It's not about money. It's about heaven. It's not about money. It's not about money. Pull up. It's too pretty that the pastors we have nowadays, they are all about sex. They will call you and they will have intercourse with you. Servant of God. So called servant of God. Many of you have been used in the kingdom of darkness. For their fame and prosperity. And you don't know it. Many of you are in the bondage of a folk prophet. Because you are so foolish to understand and de to discern the pastors. You are deceived by the miracles. You are deceived by the prophecy. Because the pastor was able to tell you what you hear yesterday night. I want to ask you a question. Didn't Satan see you when you were hating yesterday? He saw you. Many pastors are the devil are given the power to see visions. They came and started deceiving you and you are fooling in their, in their leg. You are powerful on them. Talking with your life. I tell you now. Look at your pastor man. It is time to pull out of that torch and find a holy next pastor or torch and start going there. 
You have no time to prepare anymore. You have no movement to prepare anymore. It is time to wake heaven. It is time. And you pastor, that you think you can deceive people, that God, you think God is not saving you. I tell you, that the anger of God is coming upon you. The anger of God. You won't escape it. If you refuse to repent, you will not escape the anger of God upon you. The Lord told me that many pastors will die this year. And it's that happening. And that is the truth. If you refuse to repent, the Lord's anger is coming upon you. I tell you, you people bow down to prophet. Because they were able to see your problem. They were able to do miracle. You are there running. You forget everything. You forget you are giving only one life. If you die. And you eventually go to hell. You are on your own. The worst man. Have warned you. The worst man. Have warned you. I have warned you. I have told you now. I have warned you. It has come to, to the era of you supporting the work of the, of, of the false prophet. I have warned you. If care is not taken, I have warned you. God has warned you. On that judgment day, you have no excuse to say God don't tell you. God bless you. This is Heaven and Hell program. And once again, I am opposed to Peter Daniel. Opposed to Peter Daniel. Once again, I am opposed to Peter Daniel. Listen to me very well. Go to my YouTube channel. Look for opposed to Peter Daniel. You will see my picture there. Subscribe there. You will see more video. More revelation and video from the living God. You see all the video I have done, listening to them. They will, they will do a great thing for you. God bless you. Please, subscribe. Not only subscribe, but make sure your life is in accordance to the word of God. If you are still fornicating, you are still lying, you are still stealing, your life is against the word of God, I tell you, air is real. Goodbye.